More than 70 pieces of work by the world's most famous and most mysterious street artist Banksy are going on display in London. The walls of the gallery were spray painted especially for the occasion to give it a more street look. The artist himself, however, did not give his backing to the show, which was organized by his former agent, who's the first to admit that Banksy would probably not be very happy with it. For him, it's probably the last thing in the world he'd ever want to see. He's not, you know, it's an unauthorized exhibition. He has nothing to do with it, apart from the fact that he painted all the paintings, of course. And I think for him, I, I don't know. I think it's interesting to get all the works together. Among the works on offer are early canvases that were originally sold for 50 to 100 pounds. Now a Banksy can go for more than a million pounds. He will, however, profit from the show under a rights provision that entitles him to a percentage of the price of each piece of work. It's going to be really interesting to see what people's reaction to his work is now because you, you know, when we originally sold them, some of these pieces were less than £100. So the way someone treats something when it's 100 quid, as opposed to being worth a million pounds, are very different. Starting out as a graffiti artist on the streets of Bristol in the 1990s, Banksy also created canvases and sculptures for sale. His world-famous stencils feature striking images occasionally combined with humorous slogans, usually bearing anti-war or anti-establishment messages. Subjects often include rats, apes, policemen, soldiers and children. It's got a genuine accessibility to it that, people, that really resonates with people. But also I think he's one of the few artists that ever put any, it's certainly in the last few years, to put any kind of politics into stuff that's quite simple for people to understand. I see dead presidents. As his career bloomed, Banksy left his spray-painted mark worldwide from the streets of New York to the controversial West Bank separation wall. None of his street pieces are included in the exhibition. Banksy, the unauthorized retrospective, runs at Sotheby's S2 Gallery in London until the end of July. Yeah, you know the business playing the mate since it's negative a day.